If you ask my four-year-old son, which would he prefer? 15 minutes of TV time or 30 minutes to be able to read a book? Unfortunately speaking, my four-year-old child will take the TV time anytime. But is he truly settling for less? Or is he getting exactly what he wanted? Last week on The Dash with Ash, I talked to you a little bit about myself and introduced myself. Well, this week, we're going to talk about settling for less and what that truly means in the gig economy. Many people seem to think that as independent contractors or gig workers, they believe we truly make a lot less money or that we're truly not gaining the benefits that we might need in life. But are we not getting the benefits or are we settling for less because of the actual benefits that we're receiving in return? Let me give you an example. Do I make less money as an independent contractor versus when I worked at TELUS? The answer to that is definitely yes. But am I settling for less money with a greater return within my life by being an independent contractor? The answer to that is definitely yes. In my last podcast, I gave you the example of lunch and break time when I worked at Tullis not being in my benefit anymore. And now, since being an independent contractor, how I've gained that back. But let me give you another example of a benefit that I have gained from being an independent contractor that I've never had before, but some people would still say, because I make less money, I'm settling for less. Have you ever had it that you worked for a company where the statistics mattered most? Have you ever had it when you worked for a company where your name was not as important as the number that they stamped you with? Because I have. Have you ever had it that your child was so sick to the point that you had to take them to the emergency room and get off work, but the only thing your manager could think about was what status to put you on and how they were so frustrated that you even left work to begin with, not considering the emotions that you were going through that day? Because again, I have. And here's the best one of all. Have you ever had it that you took all your vacation days because your employer did not provide anything for parents, which I fully understand, but you took all your vacation days for sick days for your child and suffered burnout on the job? Because for the third and final time in this podcast, I'll say it, I have. The benefit about being an independent contractor and settling for less money is one, I matter more than statistics do. Two, I am not just a number. And three, I don't have to worry about ever missing out on a day where my child needs me most. Does companies like Uber Eats or DoorDash or Skip the Dishes or Instacart provide paid days off like vacations? No. If I want a vacation, I'm paying for it. But does that matter to me anymore? No. Because if my day off is sick for my son, I'm there. Or if my day off is off because I'm going on a trip, well, I'm a grown ass woman. I know how to save money, put it on the side and do that. I understand the perk and the benefit of paid days off. I had over one month of paid vacation, four days. It was fun, but the price tag that came with those paid vacation days Oof, I wouldn't want that back for anything. People talk about settling for less and not having for paid benefits. 
I get you. That's true. When I worked for Telus, I had paid benefits that I paid into. But guess what? You can simply get yourself registered with a private health care provider and pay the same way you would with your job for health care services. Or, if you live in Quebec, they have RAMQ. So there is options. But I'm not settling for less. I have options. Now, here is something where I feel that I don't have a lot of options for, and I am truly settling for less. And I know my fellow gig workers, a lot of them feel the same. Our job title. Previously, when I worked for TELUS, my job title was a customer relations specialist. It sounds pretty cool when you think about it. But now, I'll get asked, Hey Ash, what do you do for a living? Well, the truth is, is I am a 31-year-old delivery driver. You can use the terminology independent contractor. You can use the terminology gig worker. But what happens when you say those words? Follow-up questions. What gig work do you do? What do you mean by independent contractor? Independent contractor for what company? Do you have your own company? Well, no, I don't. I work for Uber Eats. I work for DoorDash, Skip the Dishes, or Instacart. And they all come down to food delivery services. I hate the title of being a delivery driver. But... It comes with the territory. So even though I'm settling for a really crappy job title, the way that I still look at it is I'm still gaining so much more. Here's something that makes me truly feel like I'm settling for less and actually I feel degraded at times at being an independent contractor. Did you know that the majority of my job is to wait on these apps until I see a high enough tip that can make it beneficial for me to go and do your order because these companies do not pay enough. Simple as that. If a customer does not tip me What ends up happening is I am losing money to these companies because I'm paying my gas, because I'm not making a profit, and because of the fact that my time is probably going to be paid only $3 from one of these companies. That is truly somebody who is settling for less. I have the title of an Uber Eats delivery driver, but I should really say that I'm an Uber Eats tip driver. I'm not a delivery driver. Delivery drivers, they got an actual salary, but I understand that I have benefits. I can do what I want when I want. Sometimes, because there is consequences from these companies. But I can't call myself a delivery driver. I'm a tip driver. No tip, no trip. Because if I tried to do your trip, I'd make no money. I'd be paying Uber or DoorDash or Skip or Instacart for going to get your order. But that's not your fault that I'm settling for less. In today's podcast, I've listed the pros, I've listed the cons, and I've listed various things that settling for less means to me. But at the end of the day, what does it mean to you? 
If the job title is too much for you, think about it this way. You could be making a fortune doing deliveries. And if you were, would you still find that you're settling for less because society might not like your job title of being a delivery driver? At the end of the day, we all need to consider what works for each one of us. If settling for less is too much for you, there's a strong possibility that being an independent contractor is not right for you. But either way, we have to all do what we need to do in life. And sometimes, regardless if it's our job title or not, we simply have to settle for less. Next week on The Dash with Ash, I'm going to be talking to you lovelies about the true stressors of being independent contractors. Let's talk about that next week.